Hello friend, today we will see how to use shortcuts while accessing Oracle R12 forms. My first shortcut is about how to add a form function to the top 10 list. So take an example if you want to add a form function of a general source setup uh, to the uh, top 10 list. So first what you need to do is you need to navigate to the concerned journal sources form yeah and then click on this arrow which will add this to your top 10 list here you can see the message you may now type the one key to open journal sources so that means you know to open journal sources you can just press the keyboard shortcut of one which will open the journal sources form my second shortcut is about closing a form in order to close a form generally you click on this cross button but instead of clicking on cross button you can use a keyboard shortcut of f4 which will close the form my third shortcut is about how to save a form so take an example you try to create a new journal source say test src1 and it's already this so maybe i'll try to create uh, one two three yeah test src123 now in order to save this generally you click on this save button but instead of clicking on save button what you can do is you can use a windows shortcut which is control s so you can use the same shortcut here control s okay once uh, i press the control s you can see the message transaction complete one record applied and saved now in order to create a next record generally what you do is you can you put your cursor here but instead of putting your cursor there you can use the keyboard shortcut of control down arrow which will take you to the next record next shortcut is about how to copy the value from the previous field say if you want to copy the same value whatever is available here to this next field you can use shift f5 if you want to copy the entire row you can use a keyboard shortcut of shift f6 so this shift f5 and shift f6 shortcuts are available in most of the uh, oracle application forms and you can use the, you can take the advantage of uh, these two shortcuts and uh, it will help uh, in your uh, speedy uh, data entry now next shortcut is about clearing up the records if you want to clear the records what you do is you click on edit clear record but instead of doing that you can use the access keys so when i say access keys under each of these menus here you can see there is a underline under uh, for each of the letters so here you can see there is an underline under f here you can see there is an underline under e here you can see underline under v and here you can see underline under uh, uh, under the letter w so in order to use these menus instead of taking your cursor there you can just use alt and that particular letter so if i want to click on edit instead of taking my cursor there i can say alt e again for clear r and then again for record r so which is clearing of the record so you can use again this uh, access keys again these access keys are available in most of the oracle application forms and uh, next shortcut is about uh, form help in order to uh, get help on any form you generally click on this question mark but instead of taking your cursor there and clicking uh, uh, on a question mark you can use the keyboard shortcut which is control h which will open the help page now if you want to see all the uh, shortcuts available in the system you can do control k which will give you the list of all the shortcuts available in the system and my last shortcut is about retrying of the records so take an example you go to say journal sources and now you want to retrieve the total number of journal sources available in the system so one way is you can do f11 control f11 and then go to edit uh, sorry view record and last record but instead of uh, doing so many different things you can just use a shortcut of f12 
here you can see query will, will retry 109 records so that means there are totally 109 journal sources which are available in the system thanks for watching my video for more interesting videos on oracle functional uh, videos please subscribe to my channel thank you thanks for watching my video